everyone, Coach Chelsea here, and this is Tough Love Tuesday. Sorry about the mess here, on the run, gotta grind, you know, execute, busy day. So, anyway, I wanted to give you some tough love today, and today it's about if you don't use what you're given in this world, that you're going to lose it. So, let's think about it this way. When we were younger, we learned all of this stuff in school, alright? How much of that do you use today? I'm waiting. Yeah, it's probably about 20%. And you want to know why? Because 80% of what we retain has to be built into our psychology into our, and into our behaviors. You have to take what you've learned and implement it into your life. And to do that, you have to have willpower. I've been talking a lot recently with people about willpower and what it is, and I think I might have mentioned this in another video, but willpower is nothing more than something just like a battery. It starts mainly filled or fully charged at the beginning of the day after a long night's sleep, and slowly throughout the day, it winds down. That's why you need to do important things in the morning. You need to get your workout in. You need to eat that frog. Do your hardest, most important task in the morning to where everything else that you do on top of that is nothing more than icing on the cake. Um, it's things like that that have to become habit in order for you to maintain and consistently get results with whatever it is that you're doing. And it's not just willpower to do things. If you don't have the faith to do things, you're not going to step outside of your comfort zone. You're not going to be a risk taker. You're not going to be a risky person. So you're not going to get that big, huge reward. Um, if you don't have the courage to talk to someone, um, you're not going to be able to build relationships. Studies show that if you don't act on a thought or an impulse within five seconds, then it's not going to happen. So let's say you see someone across the room and you guys make eye contact. If you don't move over and you go talk to that person and start a conversation and introduce yourself within five seconds, it's 80% not going to happen. And then if it goes over a minute, it's just not. That person is just going to think you're weird and you were just looking at them for a second. So if you don't actually implement the things that you're learning, it's not going to help. We know what it takes to get to where we want to go. You just have to do it. It's 20% mechanics and 80% behavioral. And it, that can go along the same lines with willpower, faith, courage. You can do passion. Passion can be another one of those things. If you're making dinner for your spouse and your spouse just comes home, eats, and doesn't really care about you or whatever you made and doesn't say thank you, you're not going to feel appreciated and you're not going to want to do that for that person again. And then most likely that person's going to wonder why, but it's because you didn't feel appreciated. And it takes, yeah, it takes a little bit of willpower to say thank you, but it's not much. And it's things like that that are easy to do, yet easy not to do, that are going to make all the difference in the world. Um, it's easy to get a workout in once you start, but it's also easy to say no. But which one's going to bring you the results, the doing it or the thinking about it? And so when it comes to willpower, it's nothing more than a muscle just like your heart, just like your bicep. You have to build it up. It has to be able to grow. And whether that's starting in, like, if you want to lose weight, if that's starting and running around your neighborhood for a mile, if that's walking for 10 minutes, and then moving it up the next day to 12, and then the next day to 15. That's what it's about. It's about taking the action and actually doing something, having the will to get up off the fucking couch and go chase your dream takes willpower. And yes, it's not easy, but you know what else isn't easy? Regret. Sitting there on your ass doing nothing. Regret just watching the years pass you by and everybody else reaching their goals and their dreams and you're just doing nothing. Yeah, it was easy to sit on that couch. It's also easy to get up and say, hey, on Monday, I'm going to do a workout because everything starts with me. I have to start with the woman or the man in the mirror and get myself right before I can affect the world. And you know, if you're not contributing to the world and you're not growing in yourself, then that's one of the most important things about being a happy person is your contribution to the world. So... You have to gain that willpower over yourself, over yourself to be able to do your workouts, to be able to make a budget, to be able to have the accountability to not eat that chocolate cake, to be able to play with your kids and go outside and make sure that you scheduled that time. It takes willpower and discipline, 
But if you don't use that, if you don't consistently on a day-to-day -day basis use and build that discipline and that willpower, you're not going to get to your goals because you're always going to be out here wondering where to go. Because most likely you didn't have the willpower to sit down and write it down and what you want to do. And so if you get anything out of this video today, it's that I want you to be able to reach your potential. But that starts with starting small and that starts with one little action step of running around your neighborhood or making that phone call of the idea or the event that you want to go to with a friend. Um, that starts with eating a healthier dinner tonight. That starts with waking up an hour earlier in the morning to be able to fulfill your dream or to be able to work on something before your kids wake up. It comes with some starting so small and then just building on top of that. And people think that once you get to this place, willpower is easy. And it's not. It's something you consistently build. And so I want you to know that now that it's not easy for everyone. You don't every day want to work out. You don't want to budget every day. And you don't want to see that you can't have something right now because there's something greater because we're impulsive people. But you know in the long run that willpower and that discipline is going to help you get to where you want to go. Because if you're using it, you won't lose it. All right. So I hope you take this into consideration for your week and use your potential to be your best self. All right. Have a great week, everyone.